if you're in network automation, what do you do in a scenario where you have multiple vendors in your environment? Napalm. Napalm really is a fantastic way for automating networks with a bunch of different vendors. And we're going to get into it in just a second, but let me start by saying thanks to everybody who participated in the Amplify Alien giveaway. If you didn't win, don't worry, because I got another. Let's give that away too. What I want to do this time is I want you to comment below, hashtag alien, and let me know why you think aliens are or are not real. I'll pick a winner noon on Friday, and I'll reach out to you by replying to the message letting you know that you won. But enough about that, let's talk about Napalm some more. So what is Napalm? Napalm is a Python library. And if you're totally new to this, a Python library is basically saying we can take Python and add some customized commands in there that simplify how we work on our devices. So in this case, we'll download a Python library called Napalm, and that has the ability of connecting to a bunch of different network devices. Cisco IOS, Cisco IOS XR, EOS, Junos, Palo Alto, the list goes on and on and on. And the same commands work on different platforms. Let's test it out. Look, a big part to getting started with Napalm is understanding Napalm. So I want to direct you to napalm.readthedocs.io. That way you can check out the documentation and how to get started on this particular Python library. So check this out. Look, if I clear the screen, look, if I go to the installation, it tells you what to run in order to get Napalm up and running. We're using pip, which is a tool that we use to extend Python. This is where we go to get Python libraries. So it's simply pip install Napalm. Let's give that a try. Here I am on my Ubuntu 18.04 desktop machine. I'll launch terminal real quick. And since I'm using Python 3, I will say sudo pip3 install Napalm. Give that a run. And there we go. Napalm is now up and running and installed on my machine. I can now start scripting in order to get connected to my network devices. Let's check out how to do that. Jumping back to the documentation, I can check out the tutorial section. We can maybe do something like programming samples and I'll scroll down and just take a look at what's going on. Okay, so immediately I can see I need to import Napalm. I don't have to do anything else. And what stands out to me is this chunk of code right here. You can see get network driver. This is what it's using to determine what kind of network device we're doing. We say napalm .get network driver, uh, and iOS is what would work for a Cisco iOS device. Junos is what would work for a Juniper Junos device. So we say use that driver and we store the variable called driver. Then we can set the device parameters as options on that driver. So we'll say a host name or IP address, username and password. And then from there, you can open the connection. Let's try that. Let's get started with that. So back on my Ubuntu machine, I'll fire up VS Code. I'll create a new folder here called Napalm. And I'll create a new file in that folder called napalmdemo.py. That way we know it's a Python file. Let's clean up the screen. All right, first things first, let's import Napalm. I'm also going to import JSON because I just got a, ch a hunch that I'll be working with JSON at some point. All right, and let's get started with that driver. We'll say driver equals napalm.getNetworkDriver. Look at auto tabs for me. And what do I want to work with first? Let's go with the classic iOS. In my viral environment, I actually have a CSR1000. In fact, let's check it out. See, this CSR1000V, uh, that's what we'll use to target for this little napalm demo and see if this is up and running and working for me. So let's continue on. We'll go ahead and create a new device here and we'll say driver. We'll open the parentheses and then specify our parameters. I think host name was one of them where we'll put the IP address. Oh, that's not the right IP address. And a username, which I believe is Cisco Cisco. We'll find out pretty quickly, I guess. Cisco Cisco and password equals Cisco Cisco, and we'll save it. All right, so that should be my device. It's using the iOS driver connecting to that device. We'll say device dot open, so that opens the connection. And let's see, what do we want to do from here? This opens a connection, but then what? What else does Napalm really do for us? Well, let's jump back to the documentation, and you see this little network driver right here? 
this is the network driver class. This is what we're using to connect. That's that driver that we've been calling. And this contains all of the available methods that are available to me. So obviously close the connection. Uh, but do we want to commit a configuration? Do we want to compare a difference in the running configuration to a configuration that we're trying to load into the device? Even simple things like get the ARP table, get the BGP config, scrolling down some more, get BGP neighbors, get config and get environment. I like both of these. These are pretty straightforward. So let's do git config and git environment. But immediately we need to read a little bit closer in this documentation because I see some additional parameters here for git config, such as retrieve is by default set to all. And this tells you default is to return all of the configs. So running, candidate, and startup. Well, that may be too much. I may only be interested in running. So let's make sure that we set that to running. We also see that by default, the full return parameter is set to false, which means this doesn't return the entire configuration. So I'm going to set that to true. So that way I get my entire config. So to recap, we're going to do git config, retrieve, running, full, true. Let's print device.git underscore config, specify those parameters, retrieve, I'll say running, full, it's going to be set to true. Do note that when you type true in Python, you do have to specify a capital T. Let's also print device.git environment. And we'll wrap it up by closing our connection to that device. If I've set everything up correctly, when I debug this, I should see the correct output printed out to the terminal. Let's see what happens. So it blew up on me. It, it didn't like something. Apparently in line 3,367, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm just going to try and change this full to false and rerun the script. Okay, well, that's a much better output. Now I see the show run has been returned to me as a JSON object in ASCII text. And then almost as, as soon as that's completed, right here, this is the end of show run. There, I can see the show environment, the Git environment right there. So now I can see things in JSON format again, like CPU usage, memory, RAM, and so on. So this is great. All we had to do was change the full to false, and we got a success by using the Git config and Git environment methods. Now, can we use these same methods in a Juniper environment? Let's test it out. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close this here. We're gonna kind of clean this screen up a little bit and we'll just change some of our parameters. I'll start by changing the driver to Junos. I'll change the IP address to an SRX firewall I have running in my environment. We'll change the username and the demo password. And we'll leave everything else the same. I'm using the exact same command start to finish. Let's see if they work. We'll start debugging. Well, there we go. Now we've got a slightly different formatted output here, but it is still JSON. It is still ASCII formatted JSON, and we can see the show run, uh, or at least in this case, the show configuration in Juniper's case, that comes back from that particular device. And then the get environment items, the exact same info here. We're looking at CPU, temperature, fans, power, so on. The exact same commands work for both iOS and Juniper devices. You can use Napalm to get started automating your network in a multi-vendor environment. So that's all I've got to bring to the table today. We have covered Napalm, just a basic getting started with Napalm. Pretty cool way that you can get started hooking into a bunch of different network devices, iOS, Junos, EOS, Palo Alto, so on, the list goes on and on. Check out that documentation and get started. Let me know if you have any questions at all with Napalm. And as always, if you've enjoyed this content, let me know below. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. That goes a really long way for content creators. And if you want to see something else instead, comment below and I'll make sure I check that out for you. In the meantime, thanks for stopping by, y'all. We'll see you in the next one.